Hey, you guys, it's Peter! <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere, except for getting my coffee. I'm YouTube famous now. And my ringtones come out next week. So just get ready. Oh my God. And there's Pee Pee the Flying Chihuahua. Come here. One of the ringtones will be, it's Pee Pee and Peter's Bachelor Weekend. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, yesterday I did my story time about the Chinese buffet and it was okay. But anyway, no, a lot of people thought it was really funny and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I love that so much. But anyway, yesterday I had intended, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot. Yesterday I had gone in with the intention, because I'm always well-intentioned, I went in to, with the intention of talking about the scary Walmart, right? So I thought, well, I did the Chinese buffet, so now I gotta talk about the scary Walmart, because I love doing these story times. I don't know why, I just think it's so much fun. I really just feel like I'm sitting down with you guys, and honestly, <clears throat> like, people are always like, oh my God, will you do meet and greets? Will you go on tour? Are you kidding me? Like, look at me, I'm totally ready to go on tour today. Oh my God. So, no, like seriously though, like I, no, but seriously. I have really, like, you guys, you know that there's, like, serious, like, there's two, up here has two emotions, right? Serious and non-serious. And when I'm serious, I'm basically bawling. And when I'm not serious, I'm laughing. So it's like, ah, ah. but anyway, um, I, a lot of people have asked me if I would ever go on tour. And it was interesting because one of the management companies that contacted me, no, I'm not managed. I've chosen not to be at this point. Um, I would love to get some huge package where they would, like, fly me to the Four Seasons as part of my, but that doesn't happen. So anyway, but they were like, we would like to set up you going on tour. I was like, going on tour for who? Like, I, I mean, I don't want to go to like some room in a church basement with five people. That's not the kind of like YouTube tour that I was hoping for. And they're like, well, what kind of YouTube tour were you hoping for? And I'm like, well, you do know that I'm YouTube famous right now. But anyway, so they were talking about like, you know, eventually doing like tours because that's what management companies do and all. I mean, I can set that shit up, right? So anyway, um, I was... Uh, but when I was talking to them, they were like, well, what do you imagine doing on tour? Because tours are usually like the show's like 15 minutes. And I was like, baby, I ain't Tana Mojo, okay? My show would be like an hour and a half. I would get up. I would completely read the audience and just throw shade left and right at everybody. Oh, Judy Smith wearing that fucking ugly hat in the front row. Yeah, you know she's getting it. And on and on and on. I'd lay them all out. And then I would sit down. I'd do a few story times, probably tell some real emotional, motivational kind of thing. And then I'd wrap the whole thing up and sign pictures for two hours if that's what you wanted from me. Because who wouldn't want a picture of all this? I mean, seriously, available on iTunes. So anyway... I was talking to my uh, gal pal Dustin Daly earlier and I was like, Dustin, you've been on vacation for two days and you haven't posted a video. He goes, I don't have anything to talk about. I go, do you think I have anything to talk about? I just fucking turn on the camera. <laughs> like seriously, I just, I can't stop it. I can't stop it. So anyway, but anyway, um, so that is truly what I would do on tour though. And I'm so excited when I have 500 to a million subscribers that I can go on tour. That's never going to happen. But if it does happen, that will be what my tour will be like, really. And it will be called um, Peter and PP Bachelor Weekend. That would be so cool. We would come in pajamas. Oh, Tyler Oakley did that already. But anyway, we wouldn't come in pajamas. We'd come in trucker hats. And everybody would get a free trucker hat. Maybe. That's getting kind of expensive. This was supposed to be about this, that fucking scary Walmart. Okay, so anyway. If Christine and Elijah can smoke weed in their videos, I can say fuck. So anyway. And I'm still family friendly. So here's the deal. If you don't know what you don't know is a lot. Okay. I go to Walmart all the time. Actually, that's not true anymore. Well, here's the order of the stores. Uh, Target's my favorite, but I always spend too much money in there. And then Meyer, and then Walmart. And if you don't have a Meyer where you're at, Meyer is really like a Walmart plus, if that makes sense. Like, not a super Walmart, because we have those, and they can still get kind of nasty sometimes. But like a Walmart, but like, if a Walmart was a C, a Meyer might be like a B, if that makes sense. Not an A. I would say a Target is A. A minus? I don't know. What would be an A plus? And I mean, I'm not talking about the Nordstrom's and the Saks. I'm talking about these kind of stores, right? So anyway, but I prefer to go to Meyer. Tanya never wants to go to Meyer because you have to self-check yourself out, okay? And she can't do barcodes and all kind of stuff. And then she gets yelling. She's like, ah, we need help over here. We need help over here. And then she's like rolling her eyes because the woman's so slow. She's like, we should have gone to Walmart. I'm like, if we would gone to Walmart, we would have had to wait two hours in line because they only have one lane open at two o'clock in the morning. It makes no sense. So anyway... And I'm always sitting in there. I'm like, why are there little kids in here at 2 o'clock in the morning? They should be at home asleep in bed. Oh, they've been waiting in line for two hours. Or they would be asleep in bed. One day, Tanya and I, because we are killing for going to Walmart really late at night, like 11 o'clock. We literally started in the grocery. 
we never do this stuff, okay? This is bad sobriety, okay? I'm just gonna tell you. And this wasn't me. I didn't have one thing in that damn cart. We started in the grocery and Tanya got everything she needed. We went all the way through the electronics, all the way down through the towels, all the way through the sporting goods. We hopped around on the balls. We rode the bikes. We went to the gardening section and the, ex the old Christmas clearance. We came back through the greeting cards, got some candy, got into line. Tanya looked at the line. It was like wrapped around. She goes, oh no, I can't do this. And she pushes her cart to the side and we walked out. I go, Tanya. I said, there's going to be some bad juju coming back at you for that. She's like, Psh, I'm not waiting in that line. So anyway. But Tanya and I go, my good Judy Tanya, if you are just catching up now and you're like watching this video and you're like, A, who's this dude? B, why is he telling this story about some scary Walmart? Is this like a horror story? No, not really. And C, who's good Judy Tanya? Catch up, okay? So anyway, um, I am going to get a t-shirt though and I think I'm just going to call it Tanya because I think it would be so funny if somebody bought a t-shirt and just said Tanya on it for her. Even if I just sold one, I think that would be hilarious. So anyway, do you ever just post like this? Don't you love when you go to like Instagram and you look at this and they're like model and their pictures are always like this? But they never really like look at the camera. They're always like this. And you're like, where are they looking? Does someone like, and you know that they're holding the camera like this and they're like, you know how I know? Because I've taken those pictures. But anyway, so, okay, but we go to Walmart all the time. Like always. She's like, I've got things to do, things to buy. I've got groceries. And she comes and she's got like 20 things. I'm like, oh God, Tanya. But anyway, so I always make her go to the, the Meyer because the Meyer's cleaner and it's nicer and they, it's just, it is. So anyway. So the Walmart that she and I go to, though, isn't that bad. I would say it's the nice Walmart, okay? But right where I live, okay, on one side of where I live, it's very nice, okay? On the other side of where I live, it's very sketch. And so there's a Walmart over there, and it's by the wig store, and it's by the Dollar Tree, and it's by this uh, Chinese restaurant that I can't believe hasn't been closed down yet. It's and um, so it's we call it the scary Walmart, right? But of course we always go because it's so convenient and I love Walmart and Walmarts are basically all the same anyway, right? But Melissa and I and Alex and everybody because we all live over here, we call it the scary Walmart. Oh, do you want to go to the scary Walmart? Sure, I'll be there in a second. Okay, so one time Alex and I, was it Alex and I? Yeah, Alex and I walked in this scary Walmart and he and I are like buying things and he's like on the other side of like, we were like getting like toiletries, like deodorant and stuff like that. And um, <laughs> I'm like standing on the other side of the aisle, right? And I'm like, Alex. And I hear this woman go, uh, she's like, she's like, you motherfucker, get over here. And I was like, oh my God, right? And I thought she was talking to one of us. And so I like got around the corner. I go, Alex, did you hear her? And all of a sudden she said, I said, motherfucker, get over here. And I was like, oh. So Alex goes, what is going on? So we're like creeping through the aisles looking, right? And we turn around the aisle and I'm like, she's yelling at her kids or something. No, ma'am, she's yelling at a dog up in the Walmart. She had a service dog. She is yelling at this dog, calling this dog, all kinds of motherfuckers up in this. Oh my Lord, Peepee, -pee. I would never call you that. Hold your ears, Peepee, -pee. you don't need to hear such words. But anyway, so that was, let me just, that just kind of gives you an idea, right? Okay, of like what this place is like. People are always screaming out and yelling shit at the top of their lungs in this Walmart. It's scary. It's a scary Walmart, okay? It's got every kind of mix of person you ever want. It's got some of the, I mean, Dustin, you would know some of these people because there's some of them rednecky as hell. But anyway, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love a good redneck because I love a good trucker hat. But so anyway, we are going through the store. And I am like so like sketched out by all this stuff that's happening. And um, what I was saying was we went the other night and I was like thinking about the story that I had told on my video like years ago, right? And I wanted to re-show this video. And so I went back to watch it. But the problem is when I watch it, I'm like this and I'm smoking cigarettes. So I look as trashy as the story. So uh, let me tell you the story of what happened to me at the scary Walmart years ago. Okay, so I go to the scary Walmart Probably, well now, to be real honest with you, I drive out of my way to go to the non-scary Walmart, okay? I mean, if you have choices, we all have choices, right? So, um, the, uh, this was probably, okay, so I made that video about four years ago, so this is about four or five years ago, right? So I went into this Walmart one night, and it's about six o'clock on a Wednesday night, all right? And have you ever been to Walmart at six o'clock on a Wednesday night? I mean, if there are 10 aisles open, all of them have 300 people in it, right? And everybody's in the speedy checkout, their line, their carts are just packed to the gills, okay? This pisses, this is what's so funny to me is my good Judy Tanya, it pisses her off so bad when people are in the speedy checkout line and they have like 50 things, but she's good for being in that speedy checkout line with like 21. And I'll be like, Tanya, you have a lot of things. She'll go, I have 21. You're, you're allowed to have 20. I think that's okay. And I'm like, what's the difference between you and the one that has 50? She's like, 
they have 50. There's a difference. I'm like, Tanya, okay. So anyway, I'm in this beauty checkout line and there's this girl in front of me and she is adorable, right? And it's like the middle of the winter time and she's got on this Patagonia coat. And perfect figure, okay? I mean, like, I thought, this girl's, like, home. She's from, like, Miami of Ohio or Indiana University. She's probably a pie Fi. She's real cute, okay? Hair cute, on point. Everything's on point, right? And I'm sitting there looking at her, and she's holding a cart, right? And I look, or holding, like, a, one of those, what do you call them? I don't know what the, what those things called, pee-pee. He said, I don't know. Anyway, um, and I look down, and she's got a basket. She's got a basket. Easter basket, because this weekend's Easter. So, anyway... Do you remember Easter PP? PP this weekend's Easter. Okay. So, uh, here comes Peter Cottontail. All right. But anyway, so um, I'm sitting there and I look down and she's literally got like 10 of those little jars of baby food. And I like look up at her and then I look down and I'm like, oh, I get it. Okay. She's a young mom. She wasn't, I wouldn't say necessarily a teenager. She looked because she was like 19 or 20. I mean, I don't know how I came up with that age, but it just makes better for the story. So anyway, no, but she really was. I mean, she didn't look like she was 15. Okay. She didn't look like she was on the next series of Teen Mom, although I wish, and I wish I had met her and then I would be on Teen Mom and then that would be fabulous because that Amber Portwood, you know, I'm a, totally obsessed with and She lives in Indianapolis. Amber, when are we having lunch? I asked you and you said yes. So anyway, True story. I, that did happen. But anyway, um, if you can go look, we follow each other on Twitter. She lives about 10 minutes from me. Okay, but anyway, so um, I'm in there and I'm looking at her and I'm like, she's sitting there and she's kind of like checking out this guy next to her. So I looked at this guy next to her, right? Super cute, right? And he has an IU shirt on and I'm like, oh, this is like perfect match, right? And I'm looking at her and she's looking at him and I'm looking at him, looking at her and they're like back and forth. And I'm like, oh my God. This is such pure love. I love it so much. It's almost Valentine's Day. This is so cute, right? And he's sitting there, and he looks down at her basket and immediately turns full body the other way, right? And I'm like, oh, baby, she got dissed. I wish I had my fan right now. I'd be like, because that's about how it felt, right? Oh, this video took a turn for the worse. I had to kind of stop it for a second. Okay, so anyway, so we're, <laughs> I mean, it's family content. So I'm standing there in line and I'm watching this and he turns away and then he buys his stuff and he goes out and she doesn't really notice it at all, but I'm sure she's like, this is, I'm so used to this by now. True love going left, true love going right. Nobody wants me because I've got a baby. Okay. And that's the sad fact of reality with these teenage girls. It's like, you have a baby. I mean, this is what happened, right? So she got pregnant by this boyfriend that I'm sure was gorgeous in high school. And she was going out with her friends on the weekends and drinking. And she probably had good grades. And on the weekends, went to bonfires and smoked weed. And, hey, girl, what's up? And went shopping in, you know, Ugg boots and tight jeans and Patagonia jet. I mean, that's literally the uniform for every teenager in the Midwest. So anyway. And then she was all excited because she was going to go to IE Bloomington and probably, you know, getting a sorority and I don't know, graduate in four years from the business school and go on and get her MBA and be the CEO of some huge company and, you know, winter in Naples or something. Who knows what she thought she was going to do with her life. But that's changed because she's now in Indianapolis and she's 19 years old and she's got this baby of which she's buying six different kinds of baby food for because her boyfriend that said, oh no, we're making this decision together. This baby is not going to go off to adoption or anything else. I have a decision to make in this. He's now in Bloomington having fun with his friends, smoking weed. He's found him a new girlfriend that doesn't have a baby. He only comes and sees the baby, I don't know, maybe once every six weeks because his parents are paying child support for it anyway. And she's sitting in here and she's on the good government checks. How do I know? Because this is what happens next. So we get in line. She's the next to go in line. And here it is. You know, Sierra Beehive standing behind the counter, and you know who I'm talking about. She's 60 years old. She's bitter as hell. She's been working at Walmart for 20 years. She's got 16 kids at home that all want macaroni salad and, you know, bologna sandwiches. And she's sitting there, and she cannot wait to get home and have her, you know, like, I don't know, a good ginger ale fizz or a natty light or something, right? And she's sitting there, and she is so pissed. And she looks at this girl like she cannot be bothered. And she is taking each one of these cans, of which there were 10 or 20, and she's scanning each one individually. And I'm like, I look at her, and I'm like, I seriously want to shout, they're all the same can, dear. Okay? And she's like scanning, scanning. And I'm like, oh, my God. And the girl looks back at me, and she goes, I'm really sorry. I'm like... Baby, it's okay. So we're, she's scanning, she's scanning, she's scanning. So she goes through all this, right? And at the end of it, she says to her, um, she goes, you know, what the price is, and the girl gives her a government check, and she goes, not enough. And the girl goes, what? She goes, not enough. Three. And the girl goes, I don't understand. She looks at me, and I go, she doesn't understand what? She goes, not your transaction to me, right? And I go, what? And she goes, 
not your transaction. And she turns the other girl and she goes, not enough, three. And I'm like, is this a foreign language? I don't understand what you're saying, right? So she goes, uh, the girl looks at her and she goes, are you saying that I don't have enough for three or whatever? And the girl and the woman looks at her and she goes, your check is only good enough, not for three. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense, okay? So the girl says, are you telling me I have to put three away? And the woman goes, yes. And she goes, okay, they're all the same. Just take, take three of them off. So the woman goes, okay. So she takes three of them off and re-scans them off. And then she goes, okay. And then she does this whole check thing and the ID and all this kind of stuff. And the woman goes, do you have a pen? And the girl goes, no, I don't have a pen. She goes, now I have to go get a pen. And she looks back at the, like, all the people standing behind us, of which at that point are about 25. And they're like, oh, like, oh, you know, like they just want to get home with their case of beer. They don't care, right? So she goes off and I'm sitting there and this girl, woman, I hate the Walmart. All these people that work at Walmart, they're all so fucking bitter all the time. Quit the Walmart then, okay? Quit it. So anyway, so she goes away and I'm talking to this girl and like the cans have not been bagged. They're still sitting on the counter because the transaction, not my transaction, but the transaction has not been finished yet, right? So we're still sitting there. We're sitting there and the cans are out there. Now listen to this conversation that I have with this girl, right? So she turns to me and she like smiles. I'm like, hi. She's like, hi. And I go, you have a baby? And she was like, mm-hmm. And I said, how old? And she goes, six months. And I said, is it hard? And she goes, this is exactly what she did. Are you ready? And I watched it back in my video so I know it's the truth. <laughs> she goes, you have no idea. <laughs> that should be the ad for Planned Parenthood right there. That should be the ad <laughs> against teen pregnancies. Do you love being a mother? It's so tired. It's so hard. Are you tired? You have no idea. I mean, it's so funny, right? But I did feel really bad for her, okay? And so I look at her and I go, oh, I go, is it a he or a she? And she goes, it's a she. And I go, which one's her favorite? And she goes, peach. And I go, right? She goes, totally. That was the conversation we had. It was nuts, okay? So is it really that hard? <laughs> is it really hard? You have no idea. <laughs> like I said, that should be the ad for anti- sex uh, advertisements in high school. Can you imagine if you went through the halls of high school and it was like this teenage mom holding five kids and she said, I'm so tired. Anyway, so then the woman comes back and she's sitting there and she goes, I need you to sign the check. And she hands her a pencil. And I go, a pencil? You want her to sign a government check for the pencil? And the woman looks at me and she goes, not your transaction. I go, excuse me, because now we're in it, right? Like, I'm in this right now. It's like the three of us, because I know all about the baby, Peach, all that kind of stuff, okay? <gasps> so tired. But anyway, so I look at her, and I go, you want her to sign a government check with a pencil? She needs a pen to sign a government check. And the woman's like, I do it all the time. I go, <sighs> So the girl signs the check, right? And the woman, like, takes her payment, and she gives her a receipt. And the girl looks at her, and she goes, can I get a pack of Newport Lights? <laughs> I love teenage girls. I do so much. I love them so much. It cracks my shit up. You know, I have worked with teenage girls for 20 years. They are my heart and soul. I love them so much. I mean, to sit there and just spill your heart out through some peach baby soda to that, or baby, <laughs> just spill your heart out through some peach baby food and then ask for a pack of Newport Lights. I mean, seriously, I mean, you cannot write that shit. That is like, that is why people love teen mom, okay? That is why I love teen mom. I should have actually like said to her, come here, girl, we're going to go call MTV right now because you're the next cast member of, MT of MTV's Teen Mom 2017, of which this was four years ago, so it would have been 2012 or 2013. I never passed math because I could have been a teen mom in high school had I been straight, but I'm not, obviously. But I am YouTube famous. So anyway, I don't often go into the scary Walmart these days because it just makes me so sad. I can't go to the Chinese buffet. I proved that to you guys yesterday because Wednesdays are dad's days. And now I can't go to the scary Walmart because it's like watching real life episodes of Teen Mom. It's like cops, which are there while they're filming it. So sad. <laughs> Anyway, do you guys like my story times? Oh my God, follow me on all my social media. If you want to hear true story times, I do them on my daily vlog every day. It's listed below and I'm real active on social media. So come back for more. And if you ever want to do a meetup, it might be at the Scary Walmart. I love you guys so much. Bye.